layers of sheep. And today I'm going to be talking about checked prints and also matching sets. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys a matching set that has a checked print. And I'm going to show you guys a few different ways to style this. I'm going to show you two options in terms of styling the matching print and then also a few other outfit ideas where I actually separate the set into the two different pieces. So this is the check print and matching set and I really like this set because it is a really pretty red and white color which is so great for spring and this set is versatile enough to be styled a few different ways together and then also apart with just the top and the skirt. And one of my favorite parts about the sets are the buttons on the skirt. I think it's so cute on both sides. It gives it a little bit of a retro vibe. So this is actually a vintage set from Alice's Pig and it's actually Design in Wonderland for the label. And in terms of the difference between check prints, flat prints, and gingham prints, honestly guys, I don't know. If you figure it out, let me know. But I believe that the reason that this is a check print is because it is larger squares versus smaller squares. And flat prints tend to have overlapping stripes and they're like more closely knit together. Another way to figure out if this is a check print is if you can't play checkers on it, it's not a check print. So the first way I'm going to style this is as a matching set. And in order to make this a little bit more modern, because this piece is pretty vintage looking, especially with this longer skirt. So what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to add this fanny pack around the waist of the top. And you guys will be able to see more of what that looks like once I put it on. But essentially what the fanny pack does is that it's really gonna cinch the waist here and it's also just gonna make it like a little bit more cool. So any fanny pack will work with this outfit. Red and white are pretty easy colors to style with. So any sort of color you have probably will go with the outfit as well as long as it ties around the waist. And then I'm gonna finish off the outfit with my favorite loafers from MM6. I really like the metallic heel on these loafers and you can basically choose any loafers that you have especially if it does have a metallic heel if it's black and leather it basically goes with everything and will look really good with a midi length skirt first outfit on with the match checkered set. So for this look, the focus is on the fanny pack and I decided to do this fanny pack because it cinches really nicely around the waist and I like this one because it is adjustable. So you can adjust it however you like and for this outfit, I wanted to do it really high up on the waist so that it creates really nice definition and also so that it doesn't hide the cute button detail which is my favorite part of this outfit. And then I also added my loafers as I mentioned before and I really like these loafers because even though they are flat loafers, they do have a slightly elevated heel which helps give this outfit some height. And also because this is a very vintage piece in terms of the top and the skirt and the style of the skirt, these loafers kind of give this outfit a little more, more of a modern edge. And then finally, I added these really fun hard sunglasses because I just thought that they were super cute and they match the red on the prints. And also because this is more of a quirky print, like check prints really is a more fun alternative to plaid and gingham, I decided to also go with these hard sunnies to go with the fun vibe of this look. to show you guys how to style the set is by making it more edgy. And to do that, what I'm going to do is go ahead and add this black bomber jacket. And bomber jackets have been really in for the past few seasons. So if you also have any sort of black bomber jacket or even a black leather jacket, it would go really well with this set. And then for my handbag, I'm going to go ahead and add my cage bag because I really like the way that the pattern on the cage bag match with the pattern on the set. And to give this outfit a sporty touch, I am gonna go ahead and add these platform leather sneakers. Platform leather sneakers are another trend that's been in for the past few seasons. 
So any sort of sneakers that you guys have that are slightly elevated or have a platform would go really nicely with this look. So this is the second outfit on with the checkered matching set and this outfit has a totally different vibe from the previous outfit so it really is about the styling and for this one I decided to go with a really cool black bomber jacket so everyone has a bomber jacket or a leather jacket in their closet so you can simply add that to add an instant element of edginess to this look and just make it a little bit more casual and everyday. The previous outfit had a much more like prim and proper vibe and like an Alice in Wonderland vibe but this one is a lot more everyday and a lot more wearable in my opinion. And then to make this even more wearable I decided to go with these platform sneakers that have this cool white platform. Um, these sneakers are from Ann Other Stories. They're very, very old. As you can see, they got kind of scuffed up a little bit, but they do kind of go with everything. And I like also how they do give me some height since it is a longer length skirt. And then I went with my cage handbag just to make this outfit a little bit more fun. And as I mentioned, I do really like the fact that the cage handbag has these checks and so does the outfit. And then lastly, I went with some gold hoop earrings, again, to give this outfit a super casual vibe. Gold hoops are, you know, one of my basic everyday accessories. So if you also have any sort of gold hoop, just to add an instant touch of cool girl to this outfit, just go ahead and add them on. And that is this look. So the next way I'm going to style the check print is simply by styling this top. And one of the ways that I'm going to show you guys how to style this top is actually for this top to act as a layering piece underneath something else. So I really like the way that this top looks styled with overalls. And the reason for that is because this is such a graphic print that it really does pop against solid colored overalls like this pair. And another reason why it goes really well is because this top is cropped. So when styled under overalls, it won't bunch up here in your midsection, which no one wants. And if you don't have overalls, this would also be really good with just a sleeveless jumpsuit or even a sleeveless dress. So anything that you have is sleeveless that is kind of more on the looser side would fit really nicely over this cute little crop check top. So this is the third outfit on and for this look I decided to style the matching set separately so no longer a matching set and for this one I just have the checker print top with these overalls. I really like this top paired under overalls because the print is such a graphic print that it really does pop underneath the overalls and also as I mentioned because this top is cropped it actually works really well with overalls because you can still see a lot of the top but it doesn't bunch up around the midsection, which is like the worst thing ever. And in terms of my accessories, I went ahead and added this fanny pad just so that I don't look like a farmer because overall obviously could definitely go that way and also because this top, it could potentially look like plaid. You know, I didn't want any sort of farmer feel, so I went ahead and added this fanny pad just to make this look a little bit more modern. And then for my shoes, because these overalls are super, super long, and I, I am on the short side, I did add um, some heel boots just so that they're not on the floor. And I do like the way that these boots look with the overalls. I think it looks very chic, and I like how you can kind of see the chunky heel um, on the bottom. And then I kept the gold earrings to go with the gold belt on the bag. And then I also lastly added um, a gold bangle. The next way I'm going to style this top is a casual everyday look for spring. So because this top is cropped, I'm going to go ahead and style it with these jeans that have this really cool band detail here. And 
These jeans go really well with this top because since the top is cropped, you can actually see the pretty band detail on these jeans. And then just to layer this look and make it more weather appropriate for spring, I'm also gonna go ahead and add this oversized vintage pink denim jacket. This jacket is so much fun and I do like the way that it looks because the top is on the tighter side, so I do like to add an oversized jacket to balance out the proportions. This is the fourth outfit on with the checker print top, and this is definitely a more casual look. And the reason I chose these jeans to go with this crop top is because these jeans do have this really fun detail here, so it does go really well with the crop top because you can actually see the detail on these jeans. So if you guys have any sort of jeans that have like an embellishment or like a colored band up here, or if you want to show off a really cool belt, you could definitely pair it with a crop top to show off the waist area here. And then for this outfit, I did decide to add this oversized jacket just because without it, the outfit is a little bit young, just because the top is super short and these jeans aren't high-waisted enough. You can kind of see my belly button, which I don't love. So I decided to add this oversized denim jacket just to cover up a little bit. And then I also went ahead and added my metallic loafers again that do go with everything. I love the look of loafers and denim. I think it's just such a classic look. So this is something that you guys can replicate really easily if you have a pair of skinny jeans and a pair of loafers. Like it will for sure look good every time. And then lastly, I went with just a very casual crossbody bag. This one is from Duty and Burke and I like the bucket shape. I think it goes really well with the casual vibe of this look. Next, I'm going to show you guys a few different ways to style this mini length check skirt. The first way is a winter to spring transition outfit. And I'm going to go ahead and add a really chunky sweater paired with this skirt. This outfit would work with any sort of chunky sweater that you have. You simply would just tuck in the sweater a little bit with the skirt. And it creates that effortless look where the sweater is just tucked in super casually into the skirt. And to make this outfit even more spring, I'm going to go ahead and add these really pretty baby blue pumps. I also like these pumps because it does add a little bit of height to your outfit. Since this is a mini skirt and I'm on the shorter side, I do typically like to wear some sort of heel. So this is the fifth outfit on and for this look I'm styling the checker print midi skirt and this is more of a winter to spring outfit since I do have this really chunky cardigan going with this skirt and I do love the look of a chunky knit paired with a midi skirt because there's something very effortless about it. If you just tuck the sweater in slightly into the skirt it just looks very very like relaxed which I really like. And just to add a pop of spring to this look, I decided to go with these gorgeous baby blue heels from Taryn Rose. And these are so, so comfortable. It's actually padded on the inside, so it literally feels like it's walking on air. And I also really love the shape of these pumps because I feel like they're very versatile and they go with a lot of things. So if you have like a, any sort of chunky pump like this, it does look really good with a mini skirt. There is something like Swedish about, about it. It's very, very sophisticated and cheap. I decided to go with a baby blue handbag to match my shoes and give this outfit a spring vibe. And then lastly, I also added a necklace since the sweater is a plain sweater with no print. I decided to go ahead and add a little bit of sparkle and I chose this necklace because if you look closely, there is also some baby blue in it. So it does pick up nicely on the baby blue in the bag and in the shoes. The last outfit I'm going to show you guys with this skirt is a dressier outfit that can actually transition from day to night. So for this outfit, I'm doing this really pretty 
sparkly striped velvet crop top or bralette. So I really like pairing this with the check print because there's something cool about the striped pattern against the check pattern. So that's another tip for when you're styling a checked print is think about what prints would contrast nicely with it. So both of these pieces have graphic elements but they both have lines to them which makes them still cohesive and look good together. And for the daytime, what you could do is simply add a crop jacket over the outfit. So any sort of crop jacket that you have would work. For me, I'm going to go ahead and do this vintage suede crop jacket just to pick up a little bit more on the vintage in the skirt. And then I'm going to go ahead and add this cute little micro bag to give the outfit a trendy touch. I also like this micro bag because it does work really well for a nighttime outfit. So this is the last outfit on with this checked mini skirt and this is definitely more of an unconventional outfit. So for me, the plus of this outfit is that it could work from day to night. So I decided to go with this cropped bralette top and I chose this top because it's got this cool striped pattern that goes nicely with this because they both have lines on them so even though they're different prints, they do still look cohesive together and they contrast nicely together in a visual standpoint since they both have lines. And then to make this outfit appropriate for daytime, I went ahead and added this cropped suede jacket. So because this is a longer length skirt, I would recommend adding a cropped jacket versus a long jacket. So if you have any sort of like cropped light jacket, it is a really great option for spring. And then I decided to go with these Mary Jane heels to add some height since I am on the shorter side and this skirt is pretty long. And I also chose these heels because they're velvet and the top is also velvet. So that kind of ties it together because otherwise the top might look a little bit out of place since it's black and it's velvet and the rest of this outfit has more spring vibe, especially the skirt. It's this like light cotton material which is very spring. So I went ahead and added some velvet shoes to make this outfit more cohesive. And I kept the same necklace as before, but you might notice that I actually made it shorter. So this necklace can be worn as a choker and as a longer necklace. And for this look, I decided to make it a little bit shorter to give it a little bit more of an edgy vibe. And then lastly, I went with my cute little micro handbag, also in a darker color, to pick up on the darker color of the top. And that is this outfit. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video on check prints and matching sets. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment box below and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you like what you see. And stay tuned for next week's video where I will be Marie Conduing my whole closet and getting ready for spring. So that is very exciting. And I will see you guys next time.